is going on you guys my name is brandon and welcome back to my channel so today i have a zombies video on black ops 4 for you guys but before we get into that i want to remind you guys that i have gran turismo and black ops 4 videos as well as black ops 3 zombies videos so if you guys want to go check those out or you guys enjoyed this one and want to see more black ops 4 zombies videos make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check those videos out so let's get started into the video so this is actually my third zombies gameplay i believe on black ops 4 i haven't really played zombies that much on black ops 4 the interesting thing about it is is that i usually play zombies a lot on the black ops game like zombies has been my staple game game mode for years on black ops and like black ops black ops 2 black ops 3 but black ops 4 i don't know why i haven't really played it that much but today i am and i'm playing classified right here i'm playing with my brother who whose channel i will leave down in the description but the two of us were playing uh classified i just decided to just record it and see how far we can get um the one of the things that we're trying to achieve on this gameplay is the that thing with the two trophies the one about staying on the top floor or the starting area for 20 rounds and also not turning on the power for 20 rounds and trying to survive with that because i have that trophy already but he doesn't so we're trying to get that for him right here in this video it's a really 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 easy um trophy to get it's it's very simple i think if you're by yourself you can you can get it very easily or you can put on the bots to make it even easier it's way easier with the bots to get this tro these two trophies but either way whether you do it with the bots or by yourself or with a buddy or something like it's it's really easy to get anyways but here in round 12 things are looking a little packed uh the the little the only thing that makes this a little bit difficult is that um the lanes are kind of small like it, you can run anywhere and there there could be a zombie like just waiting right there <laughs> just to kill you but um like it like you really have really really have to know how to control the zombies um where to run to make them follow you the thing the thing that that i always keep in mind when i play in zom when i'm playing zombies is that the zombies literally follow every single footstep that you do just about um as he's almost dying right there i gotta hurry up uh okay okay, okay, okay i got him <laughs> did you get hurt i always think the the commentary right here is funny but okay skipping ahead round 14 um i still have this little gun i'm not sure why i still have this i got this from the mystery box i think or i got it from the wall but um like the difficult thing is that if the mystery box is not out here or if you like lose the mystery box and you don't get a good gun it, it's tough because then you're stuck with whatever you have and you can't you can't move to a different spot to try to to try to pick up another gun since obviously you're trying to get the trophy of staying right there where you are so i've been using this little gun that i that, um i've been using the guns that i found from the wall because like that i could just go back and get some more ammo um it's not that big of a deal until you get into the more later rounds like maybe closer to 20 but once you start getting closer to 20 it it starts getting more and more difficult because you're trying to find a way to um to, to get the ammo and there's a lot of zombies around you and that's never fun but we're holding together just fine right now we have a, a insta kill right now which makes things a lot easier you don't have to use as much ammo so we're i think that there's only a few zombies left i'm just gonna knife them when i do when i have uh insta -call, i usually just um just melee them just because you get more points like that i try to always maximize my points um if you guys notice like like when i play zombies when i'm on round two or around there and i i don't usually use my ammo in round one from the starting weapon because then i i round them up in round two and then i just shoot them all in, in a line i do that whole collateral damage thing just because it gets more points it gives you a lot more points just like that but uh anyways here now in round 17 the dogs are spawning in with the rest of the zombies and we have double points i like like i said i, I like to maximize my points a lot uh any way that i can i'll maximize my points and you can see right here i ran out of ammo so i have to go and find more ammo which is right here uh i like to stay around where the where the ammo is so if i move i'll probably pick a different gun just because uh, it's close to the ammo as he goes down right there i'm gonna try to find my way to pick him up um shouldn't be that bad although with this gun it the more the more runs that that pop up the 
the stronger the zombies get and it, it makes it a lot harder to kill them with that gun but I'm gonna see if I can use this overkill thing to just mow them all down really quick and then get them pick them up and that's the end of the run okay so I'm just gonna go pick them up really quick <laughs> um but now we're on round 19 still using this little gun right here and I don't know why they're all going toward him very very interesting but um you can see right here there's a ton of dogs and I just die right there but I have the self revive thing and I'm gonna go ahead and use that right now because no reason in putting him through that stress of not <laughs> of having to pick me up because he just goes down right there so just gonna kill these dogs really quick and get I'm not gonna get that max ammo right quite yet I'm gonna pick him up first I'm not gonna do him like that I'm gonna pick him up and then get the max ammo so that he could get the max ammo too uh, I hate when people do that when when you're down and then they pick up the max ammo and it's just like okay I don't have any ammo anymore but um, I really don't need a max ammo right now I have 34,000 points and I still can just get the the ammo from the wall but here we are round 20 which I think at this point he got it um, you don't see me getting it because I already have it so um, him though he has it at this point so we're just trying to find uh, we're just trying to survive really quick um, just trying to get a few zombies out of the way first and then move move down to the other floors so he's gonna try to train at this point it gets really 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 congested really congested it's hard to really move anywhere you just gotta like I said um, the zombies follow every footstep that that you do so you kind of just have to lead them in your in a way where you can open yourself a path to run like after that so it, it, it's simple enough if you you really can do it but sometimes it happens where they don't run exactly where you run and it kind of blocks off lanes for you so you have to watch out for that you kind of just have to understand the way that zombies move so in order to be able to um the zombies blocking my doorway um you kind of just have to understand the way that they move in order to find the best way to to run around to open the lanes for you to run through so that's really the key so right now we're trying to get to the elevator these zombies keep blocking off our spots um we're both trying to get to the elevator uh to try to just get in and go because um we don't we really don't have any ammo right now so just gonna buy this really quick and get in here and just close the elevator the one time during this okay, round that we get to peace and quiet Might be time and to meet my knife. don't know why don't know why he's looking at me, don't know why he's yelling at me, but he needs his ammo as you can tell by the way that he's yelling. So I'm gonna pick up this gun like I said once again. Um I like to be around where the where the guns on the wall are. Simply because if I run out of ammo, especially in the related rounds, I could just pick it up and just keep going. Uh very simple as that. I just needed to pick up a gun really, really quick. They like it was probably a really bad time to try to use the mystery box. Um I'm gonna use this anywhere but here thing because I was about to die so I'm gonna go back to the elevator I have to call it up actually in order to go pick him back up so calling the elevator I'm gonna have to survive right here really quick um it shouldn't be that bad though the elevator's here now so just gonna wait for these zombies to spawn up because what I want to do is I want to I want these zombies to spawn up and come because like that I can go down and pick them up without while the zombies are spawning up right here again so everywhere that you move the zombies spawn by the way that you move so right here you see the zombies were not really that near him so i was able to pick him up quite easily because because of that the zombies are not around him but right here we're we're in a little sticky situation i don't like being up here because it's really really congested as he goes down again by one of these crawling zombies so i pick him up once again um Where's the other zombies? Oh, they're crawling right there. I'm just gonna go down here on the bottom. Um, gonna see. Let me see. Yeah, okay, he ends the round, so we're gonna go into round 21 now. I'm gonna use the mystery box now since there's no zombies around. This is the perfect time to use it. I don't wanna keep this gun right here. So I get the swordfish. Don't really want that. I'm gonna use it again. Um, I don't. I, I feel like these guns are good, but I just don't want it. Um, I cannot do it with shotguns, so I'm gonna use it again shotguns are terrible for zombies um uh this <laughs> yeah no i don't like shotguns once again shotguns are terrible for this 
Um, this is alright. I think I'll use this. The, uh, the Maddox. Which is an AR, so let me see. I think he goes down, so I'm gonna go try to save him and I get stuck and then I die. So that's it, game over. Um, the thing that I think is funny is that they say that you survive 20 rounds even though you're on round 21. Whereas in Black Ops 3, they'll tell you you survive 21 rounds. But technically, this this game is right because we did survive 20 rounds. We didn't survive 21st. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video, you guys. So if you guys enjoy this and want to see more zombies videos, like I said at the beginning, make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, peace out.